Hello, everyone. Welcome to Continuing Ed. And we're talking about all about natural healing tonight. So we're going to learn about non-toxic living and how important non-toxic living is, right? Super important. And with me is um, Joanna and Shira. If you just want to introduce yourselves really quickly. Hi, everyone. I'm Joanna. I live in Boston. I've been with doTERRA. Well, outside of Boston, I've been with doTERRA for nine years now and I love it. It's all about natural healing. And Shira? Hi, yep. Hi, I am Shira. I am a yoga teacher and astrologer of 10 years. I love doTERRA so much and I'm currently using it for natural healing. I am using clove on a tooth that may or not may or may not be removed soon. So right. I'm grateful, very grateful for the oils. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for sharing. And um, yeah, this is a great class because I know for me, I grew up um, surrounded by a lot of chemicals and toxins and, you know, I just had no idea and you just really don't know until you know. So, oh, so anyone want to guess where that is? That is the house I grew up in. Your mom's house. Yeah, that is the house I, well, actually that's not the house I grew up in. That is my mom's house. And that is the kind of chemicals that I grew up also around. So um, nations with targeted personal care um, uh, regulations. So maybe Joanna, you wanna share about this because you're, you're actually from Poland, which is really interesting. Um, do you want to share about the differences in, in the U.S. versus some other countries with more regulations? Absolutely. So um, like Canada, and as you can see, all these red areas, they um, are very stringent with what they allow into our personal care products, because whatever you put on your body gets absorbed into your bloodstream. So even though you're not ingesting it, you might as well be because it just goes through your skin and enters your bloodstream. So um I always like to tell the story of when we had a Polish um, au pair come over and she had her Polish deodorant, which was secret, just like the one that you can buy here at Walmart. And she brought it from Poland and she ran out. So we went over to Walmart and bought another one. And when you looked on the back of the Polish secret deodorant versus the American secret deodorant, the list was like three times as long. There were so many more ingredients that were clearly not necessary and very um, carcinogenic and toxic in many ways. So it's just mind blowing how much we allow into our personal products that a lot of other developed countries clearly don't. Mm -hmm. And even things like um, candy. So there's a Polish food store that I love to go to in Worcester. And I buy any candy that I let my kids have, I get it from the Polish food store because they don't have things like food dye, they dye it with natural things like turmeric or beet mm. or other, you know, natural dyes um, because it comes from Poland where they don't allow that kind of stuff because they know it's not good for you. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that. And yeah, I think this is, you know, if you want to explain, but I think it's pretty evident that only 11 uh, uh, harmful chemicals are banned in the U.S. versus 1,328 in the European Union. So, you know, the question is why, why is that the case? You know what I mean? Why? Who knows why? Anybody know why? Want to share? I know why. Yeah. <laughs> because we have greedy, big corporations that want to make a product that is absolutely as cheap as humanly possible. And they want to produce it as cheap as humanly possible and in as mass quantities as humanly possible. And they will do absolutely anything to make mm. that happen. Yep. Yep. So without getting too, you know, political, we're just going to put it at that. And, and so, um, Oh, I'm getting political. Uh oh, uh oh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, so while some companies make products that are safe to eat, 
uh, other companies choose to use human carcinogens or developmental toxins like coal tar or lead acetate. Um, the cool thing with the oils is you could you could eat them. You could eat your cleaning products if you wanted to. Um, when when chemicals are in cosmetics, the stakes are really high. Um, these are not trace contaminants like those found at part per million or even part per billion levels in food and water. Like obviously, there's always going to be a little bit something in water and food. It happens, you know, like. Our, our uh, what is it? Arsenic, Arsen arsenic is in rice, right? That's yeah. like um, uh, even even in organic rice, you know, it's it, it's it's unavoidable sometimes. Um, but these are in in products. These are base ingredients of the products. Just as flour is an ingredient in bread, these chemicals make up the foundation, and they're found in percent levels in personal care products, and they all can penetrate the skin. And some ingest, we ingest directly from our lips or our hands. So it's different because it's like just a higher percentage of the chemicals. So let's talk about this one, um, Joanna. Okay, so on guard, um, hand sanitizer is awesome. It's effective. It has the whatever the FDA or CDC says it has to have for the alcohol but it has a naturally derived alcohol um, that comes from like, I think it's apples. Um, so it's not this like neurotoxin <laughs> formula that is in Purell and other hand sanitizers. And not just that, but a lot of these other hand sanitizers have additives to it um, that are really, really bad for you. And in the beginning of the pandemic, there was actually quite a bit of them that got recalled because of um, all of the negative things that were inside there that were dangerous. Yeah. I love the on guard spray. I use it everywhere all the time. It's amazing. It smells really good. It smells like a clove little waterfall. It's beautiful. All mm -hmm. right. And then this is an example of like Purell and I mean, everyone's like Purell crazy, but you know, there's fragrance in it. And do you want to say anything about fragrance, Shira? Oh my gosh, fragrance is so freaking sneaky. That's what I want to say about it. <laughs> Someone gave me a like organic healthy bath bomb, CBD bath bomb the other day, and the packaging looked so green. You know, it looked so like it was brown in this cute knitted bag and everything. And I took the CBD bath bomb out like, let's go. And I read the ingredients and the bottom five ingredients were red dye number five, like yellow number 40. And those are, um, you know, very bad for you and very toxic. And I don't have the list of what the toxins do of the dyes on me in my head right now, but I, it made me sad because the fragrance is so sneaky and it's in everything mm -hmm. and you have to read the ingredients to find it. And it's there. Yeah. Yeah. It's oh, sneaky. fragrance right here. I didn't even see that. I had the pictures blocking it. Allergies, immunotoxicity, endocrine disruption, mm -hmm. all, all of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you guys don't know this website, this is called, um, if someone wants to put it in the chat, it's uh, it's the environmental working group, and you can actually look up um, cleaning products, skincare products, and you can see what's inside of it. It's it, they make it um, not a mystery, which is beautiful, um, and it's a nonprofit. So essentially, um, it's fun. It's not funded by outside interests, um, but it's really there for the consumer. It's kind of like common sense media. Do you guys know common sense media? Common sense media deconstructs like what's on television and helps you know like if children should be watching it or not. This helps deconstruct items out in the public um, and, and really just puts it, uh, that gives them uh, accountability. So Joanna, do you want to share about the toothpaste? Yes. So the toothpaste, um, 
that's actually the older version. We have a newer version now that has a product that I can never remember the name of it, but it actually has something in it that remineralizes your teeth, your enamel. So that's super cool because that's how you get cavities, right? The enamel breaks down and then stuff gets in there and you get cavities. So this remineralizes that, it repairs it. And it doesn't have any fluoride in it, which if you start looking into the history of fluoride, um, you will see just how not necessary it is and also how dangerous it is, which I know is really against everything that we've been raised to believe. <laughs> but yeah, it's really fascinating when you really start digging into it. And I know Vera, I mean, Shira always talks about the pineal gland when it comes to fluoride. I don't know if you wanna say anything about that, Shira. Fluoride calcifies your pineal gland and your pineal gland is your connection to your intuition and it's connection to your third eye and that part of your um, energetic system allows you to visualize and co-create or create a life that you want and that makes you happy and that you're lit up on. And if your your pineal gland is calcified, you're not as uh, able to connect with your true self. And it can keep you in a state of limiting beliefs and your programs and all that. So you don't really want to block yourself from expanding to the most powerful, wonderful part of you. Mm -hmm. So this example of crests, um, I, you know, I grew up with this kind of crest um, and there's, you know, there's dye, blue dye, blue number four. Um, and, you know, the, it's not the worst. It's not the best. It's kind of like, eh. but, you know, I know from my kids, like they eat their toothpaste, especially when they were little. And like, why would they want them to eat stuff that has like dye and, you know, that could be a personal, like a possible neurotoxin. Um, so I know that we're probably adults aren't going around eating toothpaste, but I think definitely for kids, this is a, like really important. Uh, so yeah, that's all I'm going to say that doTERRA has amazing toothpaste. You should try oh, it. Oh, the other thing I forgot to mention, if I can, Vera, yeah. yeah, yeah. is that, um, the toothpaste also has xylitol in it, which my biological dentist says that if, um, you know, instead of using fluoride, use a toothpaste that has xylitol in it because it acts similarly, but without like that neurotoxin side effect. So I love that as well because it remineralizes plus it protects from cavities by virtue of having those two different products in it. Cool. Thank you. All right. Um, next is deodorant. And this is a huge one. Um, uh, a lot of, uh, you know, women who get breast cancer uh, one of the culprits is chemicals from using toxins in deodorant and something like aluminum in deodorant and other chemicals because your lymph nodes are right, your lymph nodes are right here, right underneath your armpit. And um, that's your lymph is like basically cleansing your system. And if you're constantly putting stuff that's going to build up and be problematic, then your body can't properly cleanse. And so that's why when a woman has breast cancer, the first place they look to see if it metastasized in the body is the lymph nodes. And it, they open up and they take out a lymph node and they chop it up and they see if cancer has spread. And if there, if there is cancer in the lymph nodes, that means it probably might have spread into the body. So that's why anything regarding the lymph needs to stay clear. Like the highway needs to be as clear as possible. So any gook, any, any chemicals that you put underneath here is just need to be completely eliminated. And that's why I love doTERRA's, uh, you know, um, deodorant. I personally don't use any deodorant at this point in my life. I don't smell. I don't use deodorant. Some people like to just use baking soda and, um, and essential oils. Like that's the least toxic. And um, I know some people though do sweat and smell. I, I, I would love to hear Joanna or Shira what you guys do. Not my experience, but would love to hear. 
I definitely use the um, the Douglas fir and Greek orange one, the gentle formula, because um, my pits can be a little sensitive. So um, that one doesn't irritate it as much. But yeah, when you first start using a natural deodorant, you want to do a detox, which the mud mask that we have is actually fabulous for because it pulls out all that stuff that you've been shoving in there for years and years and years, right? <laughs> so um, it pulls all of those toxins out. And then it actually makes the product more effective because when you switch initially, it takes your body a little bit of an adjustment period to not be so stinky. When you switch to a natural deodorant, a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, I started using it and it's not working and I smell. Give it time, do the detox, use the apple cider vinegar rinse in the shower, use the mud mask, give it a few weeks to let your body adjust to it. And it does work amazingly. And um, the reason why I switched was because there's a study out there that shows that when they took biopsies of women's breast tissue, they actually found um, these chemicals from the deodorant in them, like the phthalates and all the other stuff, the preservatives that they put in there, they're literally not only getting into the, the lymph nodes like Vera was talking about, but also into the breast tissue. So with the rising rates of breast cancer in women with no even previous history of breast cancer, we really need to be mindful of what we're putting on our bodies. Wow. I would love to see that study. If you can mm -hmm. post it, that would be really cool. I'll try to find it and post it. Yeah, that would be so dope. Um, yeah, and so this is Dove. Um, and you know what, what kills me is like if I go to like a gym or a yoga studio or something and I, I'm in the locker room and I see like some of these women like spray, you know what I mean? Like aerosol spray. Because um, that's not only, that's a, that's a neuro, that's also toxic to the air. And that's indoor, po like indoor pollution but then it's also toxic to their lymphs, lymph nodes. Um, so yeah, Whew. just just stay away from it. <laughs> Lots of fragrance in these things. Oh, it's parabens that is found in the breast tissue. Yeah, so this one is like coconut, coconut um, deodorant. Yeah, it's not real coconut, you know, no. If you're, yeah, sure, if you're going to, like your friend's house in Hawaii who makes raw coconut, you know, underarm stuff, that's fine. But this is not, Dove is not making raw coconut anything. Like this is a chemical that's made in a lab mm. to smell like coconut, you know? So just know what real coconut is. Because I think when we hear the word fragrance, there's this automatic like, oh, like you picture yourself running down like a, a field of fragrance, like lavender, right? Like when you close your eyes and think fragrance, fragrance like what is it like what does it sound what is it what does it conjure up in your mind but the reality is fragrance is is a chemical that's made in the lab to smell like something else okay and a single fragrance can consist of a hundred or more chemicals including those linked to cancer infertility birth defects asthma and allergies so see, these are some of the things that, in, that have fragrance inside of them. And I grew up surrounded by lots of fragrance. My mother was a perfume collector, perfume bottle collector and perfume collector. And some of those perfumes, you know, most of them have, uh, are chemically based. Does anybody else wanna share on this? The other day I went into Walgreens, which I wouldn't normally go into because why go into Walgreens, but I had to pick up a prescription and I had 15 minutes to wait. <laughs> and so I walked up and down the aisles and every product, like every product in the bath section, the shampoos and the body wash and the deodorant and literally every product was toxic mm -hmm. and it felt it made me so sad because I I'm I thought to myself how many people go into Walgreens and we're so programmed we're so programmed to buy these products even when they're they seem like they're not bad they're they they all you have to do is look at the ingredients and you're going to find that fragrance that's linked to these things. 
Yeah. So it made me sad. Yeah. Even that little doll. I don't know what's in that little doll, but she's got that's fragrance a, on it. That's she's a got- strawberry shortcake doll. <laughs> oh, here. right. Because she smells like strawberry mm-hmm. shortcake. Oh, that makes mm-hmm. sense. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. If you just don't know. And oh, don't wipe, don't wipe your butt with scented um, toilet paper. That's a big one. And and now there's like it, some tampons in there. With oh yeah, scents tampons. Try to get tampons. Yeah, yeah, try to get tampons with no scent. Um, and then also now there's a whole thing around fragrance, um, fragrance um, trash cans, trash trash bags. Sorry, fragrance trash bags, which. I don't know where that phenomenon came from. Like trash smells sometimes. That's okay. You know, we don't need fragrant trash bags. You can just put some lemon oil on your trash. Lemon oil. Mm-hmm. How about dryer sheets? Ooh. I know sometimes when I'm walking down the street and I live in a city, I can smell other people's dryer sheets, like coming out of, pumping out of their apartment buildings. Mm-hmm yeah Some, sometimes my um my friends kids come over and they leave their clothes and their clothes end up in our wash and like the smell from their clothes like the you know draft or whatever tied I don't even know what else makes my entire laundry smell like that yeah, particular right thing. Like, it'd be like yeah. oh is so and so here like this smells like so and so and I'm like oh yeah. my gosh that's crazy yeah you well, don't know until you, you don't know until thing. you know really like I stayed in this Airbnb that was really pricey recently and they were, it was run by two guys who have amazing style, but they just didn't know. And they had scented trash cans. They had Glade Puggins. They had the sprays. I mean, it was just like indoor, it was indoor pollution because you couldn't open the door because it was so cold. Mm-hmm. So you were forced to be in it. And I made a video about it and I sent it to them. I was like, I didn't tag you guys, but you should really consider upgrading your scent situation. I'm sure I made a really, a great fan, friend, <laughs> but you know, I'm not gonna, I wouldn't go stay there. And I don't care how beautiful it is. I felt, I, I couldn't like, it was hard to breathe in that space, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It just, I don't know. I used to be a huge, you know, Yankee candle addict, um, Glade plug-in addict, those reed diffusers with the synthetic things. And I had a ton of health problems. Like I had endometriosis and like all these other kinds of things. Like my doctors told me that I'd never have kids, that I'd have to, you know, have surgery every six months for these endometriosis things. And that's when I started really getting into um, natural living and like making the connection between what I'm putting on my body, what I'm putting into my environment and how that affects our health. And yeah, um, yeah I have four kids now, never had more surgeries, <laughs> didn't have any problems getting pregnant. Yeah. So it, I do think there's a big link and connection. Totally. Um, and then, yeah, there's, if you didn't know that doTERRA has hair care products, they actually made new hair care products that are cleaner than they, they, they were before. Right, Joanna? Yep. So they're just cleaner. Um, do you want to share anything? I mean, I love them, but do you want to have, do you have anything to share about the cleaning products? No, I like the root to tip serum. I think that stuff is dope. Amazing. Okay. Totally helps with everything. Yeah. So <laughs> like, like I'm staying at an Airbnb right now and you know, they have just like this Pantene stuff and you know, most people don't know, they don't want to invest in anything that's high quality. But again, the number one ingredient is fair. I mean, it's fragrance. And, um, you know, second is a, a word that has like 20 syllables, which I can't even pronounce. Methyl, zolithine. Um, so yeah, just a word to wise. Um, and then I know Joanna, you're a big fan of this, this, this Veritage. I am, although I have been using more of like that sensitive, um, the sensitive oil with the blue, you know, yarrow palm and the blue tansy and frankincense and all the things and using my fascia blaster. <laughs> so mm. I haven't been using it as much, but my, Your my skin favorite, looks so great, by the way. 
right? Like I just, it I looks love really it. great. Thank you. I do love it. Um, but I do love the toner. I think that's important. It's so easy. It's just a spray on. And the reason why you want to use a toner is because it balances out the pH of your skin. So then no matter what else you put on after your body is able to assimilate it better. So the spray on use that before whatever the next step is. And then, um, the eye cream, which is not part of Virage, but part of the anti-aging because it has a roller ball on it. So you don't even have to touch it. So you literally like roll it underneath your eyes with a roller ball and it's so nice and cooling. So especially if you have like bags under your eyes, if you're like just waking up, like it actually, I think helps reduce some of that. Um, and yeah, just very soothing. Awesome. Thank you. And um, here's some more household products. Um, yeah, there's surface cleaner now. There's the On Guard Cleaner Concentrate, the multi-purpose, um, and it's a great alternative to Windex or some things that have been greenwashed, like some like Mrs. Myers. I think Mrs. Myers is 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 um. If you look it up, it's actually not that amazing. On um, it's not as clean as you would think. Because a lot of those companies are actually um, made by big corporations like Raid. I think Raid, who make Raid plugins, is are the same people who make Mrs. Myers. I have to I have to look that up again. They got um, bought out like Birds Bees and Mrs. Myers. They got bought out by like Clorox and all those companies. Right. So there's you know you get the friendly oh Mrs. Myers how wonderful but um, it may not be as clean as you think. And Windex is like something that you probably grew up on. And um, there's just a lot of chemicals in something like Windex, even though it does make, it does, I'm not gonna lie, Windex does make your glass very shiny, but so does lemon oil and vinegar. Mm -hmm. Right? absolutely so keep that in mind guys and then there's hand wash who wants to talk about hand wash anybody want to talk about hand it's wash? not very exciting it's so important to wash your hands sing the birthday song while you wash your hands right. um i i i'll talk about this hand wash and my experience with um is it mrs myers i don't know some okay. green what method it could be method that's another green maybe method one. i don't know my boyfriend had some something so it looked green and you know but you know i know better but anyway when i use that fake green hand wash which i think is it could be method my hands are really dry like my skin feels like it's being kind of ripped of its moisture and I don't experience that with the doTERRA hand wash and it smells really yummy so that's all <laughs> yeah thank you and my son gets eczema on his hands when he washes his hands too much at school so um that's it that's a that's a sign of chemicals in the in the soap and I used to get eczema too so not ideal and then, um, yeah, a diffuser instead of candles. I mean, candles are great, though. I love candles, but but I think if you're looking for the scent, then go with a diffuser because scented candles are, as Joanna said, like no bueno, right? No, and that's getting into your lungs. Like your lungs are so sensitive, you know, mm. like we don't want to be gunking them up with all of that. Like if you look at like, my mom, for example, she's a lot like your mom, Vera, with all those mm -hmm. products, except she uses Fabuloso. Mm -hmm, <laughs> Getting into the mm -hmm, Fabuloso mm -hmm. and the dollar, dollar store stuff. But like she burns mm -hmm. all these candles and next to the wall, next to the candles, it's like black, mm -hmm. right? Because it's all that suit. So like, you don't want that in your lungs. No, you do not. You do not. And I'm sorry, we're almost done, guys. But <laughs> laundry detergent. Uh, who wants to talk about laundry detergents? <laughs> I like the new pods. They're great. Yeah. Pot it's it just, up. Pot mm -hmm. it up, baby cakes. 
makes it easy. And I like to add in extra, like I add in a little bit of abode or purify or lemon um, into the rinse cycle along with vinegar, because that acts the same as like the fabric softeners. So if you want to get rid of your fabric softeners, just use vinegar with some essential oil and it'll do the same kind of thing. What, so and you add, can, sorry, you add um, purify or, or, or lemon to the, to the cycle? I used to, and now I do a bowed just because I love oh, the bowed. So you add yeah. that, how much? Um, so I add in like, I don't know, a quarter cup of vinegar into the rinse, mm -hmm. part of the, you know, the laundry and then five to 10 drops. Amazing, I love that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is just some Tide information. Shira, do you wanna talk about Tide? <laughs> I'd love to talk about Tide. <laughs> Don't eat um, Tide Pods. <laughs> no Tide Pods. It's a great way to mess up your body. Um, when I was a kid, we used Tide and I had red bumps, like allergic bumps over my entire body. Wow. Wow. Um, and I was very sensitive, skin sensitive. And then we switched to like a sensitive solution, mm. um, which I don't think cleared everything up. And it's funny because I also get eczema mm. and I didn't know that about the hand wash. So I'm really glad oh, that you, yeah. really glad you said that. Yeah. And sometimes when you're like at a restaurant or, you know, somewhere else where you're, they don't have your type of soap, it really, it really can make a difference yeah. by just using that. And I, I actually don't even, when I go to places like that, I don't use their soap. I just use water and I'm like, well, mm -hmm. it's better for my hands, <laughs> you mm -hmm. know? And then, and then I hope I have mm -hmm. the hand, I have the doTERRA hand sanitizer with me. Right. They but, also yeah. make, doTERRA also has hand sanitizing wipes, which I feel like if you were yeah. to go to the bathroom and use them on your hands after the bathroom would be nice courteous right. <laughs> um but yeah. also with this with the things i'm that are I'm, I'm also realizing and remembering i also had really bad asthma and respiratory problems mm. chronic bronchitis and my parents use all these all of these you know the bleach the tide the mm. whatever all these products glade plugins all of it mm. Mm -hmm. So make the swap to, for success. Um, this is an example of some of the products. Although these are, it's kind of old. These are kind of phased out. But this is an example that if you get your, you're going to buy your hair care or your cleaning somewhere, why not get it through doTERRA? Because then you can get the free product of the month. You can get um, points back. It's just a better deal. You're going to get more bang for your buck. And like this month, the free product was lemon eucalyptus. And you can get three oil, three oils for free or four oils. Is it three or four? Four. Four oils for free this month. You can get tangerine, clementine, wild orange, and grapefruit. Mm -hmm. So four free oils to this month that are all great cleaning oils too. So keep that in mind when you, when you spend at least 200 PV. Um, and then don't forget there's the abode products and they look so beautiful. I mean, they're just, they're made out of glass and all you have to do is refill them and they just really upgrade your kitchen situation and your bathroom situation. Um, I, I have a hand wash in my bathroom. I have the, um, hand lotion. I have the dish soap and I have the surface spray in my kitchen and it just looks really elegant. I think that's who the word we want, elegant. There's no plastic involved and you just refill it. You just refill it. So you buy the refillable items and then you buy the glass and then you have the glass forever. And if anything ever happens to one of your tops, don't get mad, just call them and get a new one. They'll send it to you for free. Cause I had an issue with my dish soap top and they sent me a new one for free. Okay. And what is a boat? Anybody want to describe a boat? Because some people don't know what a boat is all about. So a boat is um, like your boat is like your home, your comfy place, 
So that's what it kind of elicits the feelings of when you smell it, but it's also um, extremely immune boosting, like on guard, but even better. So you're getting like double the benefits or even more than double. Right. Is it better than on guard? Yeah. Oh, wow. What do you, how? (laughs) Because of like just the chemical constituents that are in it are actually more anti like microbial and they kill more different kinds of pathogens than on guard. Wow. Would you also, sorry to be asking questions, but this is news to me. Would you also put it on the soles of your feet the way you would with on guard? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Cool. That's actually what I started diffusing along with on guard for that reason. All Not right, just great. I smell. didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool. All right, that's what it looks like. Mm-hmm. That so I this- think it smells sweet. Oh. It's like a sweet, clean. So this is the this is the there is these refillables and these is the actual glass. So this is refillables. This is glass. Okay. All right. Boom. All right, and that is that. Thank you guys. Thank you, Gail and Jen and Cheryl, Beth, Carmen, Gloria. I'm glad you guys, Donna. I'm glad you so guys- So much fun class after last week. <laughs> I know, I know. 